come to the ocean to escape from work. So it might surprise you to find out how much our oceans contribute to our economic activity and give us many other benefits. Some of it's easy to measure, like fishing, for example, is a major industry. The oceans are also a big source of ingredients for pharmaceuticals, food supplements, biofuels, and cosmetics, industries with huge economic potential. And in many places, like here in the Caribbean, tourism is a major part of the economy. All of these industries rely on a healthy ocean. These things are easy enough to measure in dollars, but the ocean brings us an incredible range of benefits that don't have a price tag. Coastal habitats like barrier reefs and mangroves protect us from storms and flooding. Oceans absorb carbon dioxide and regulate our climate. They break down pollution. These things are what economists refer to as natural capital. And using it carefully is one part of what's sometimes called the green economy. The problem is, traditional economics doesn't account for natural capital, making some ocean benefits seem like zero. And if we see their value as zero, they're not included in equations and decisions, and sometimes the wrong decisions are made. That's why we're still damaging our oceans and losing species and coral reefs at an alarming pace. You can play an active role in making sure the true value of our oceans are counted. Choose sustainable seafood products. At the beach, stay in an environmentally responsible hotels. If you live near the coast, take an active role in preserving our coastal habitats like mangroves and marshes. If you're a decision maker, be sure all the benefits of oceans are counted. It's vital that we all become more aware of the true value of our oceans.